Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to another adventure on Vancouver Island. Absolutely gorgeous out here with the snow in February. It's not raining, it's snowing today and I'm pretty stoked about that. Time to do a creek crossing. Well, I conquered it. Definitely a lot better on this side. It's flatter and I can see a nice grove of, you know, Douglas fir and firs and probably hemlocks and stuff like that, which means firewood, which means trees to tie up lines on, flat ground, maybe some mossy flat ground. So I'm getting tired. I need to find, <laughs> find a place to set up camp pretty soon here. Always good to have lots of cordage when you're doing tarp camping. I'm gonna just do a simple uh, figure eight to secure these two together. You can do multiple different knots, it doesn't really matter as long as the knot holds together. Should stay tight and then we're gonna put this around the other tree. Just doing the uh, eye cam, remember the Tensioning knot. I'm gonna throw a few ferns on top of it. So, pinky lanyard. Give it a little shake. Nice little bundle. Do that a couple times. All right, I got my main sleeping tarp set up. Just set it up in an A-frame. I got a bit of a back door and um, on the other side I can put my bag. I'll, I'll take you around. And also part of the tarp is a ground cover underneath. So let's take a closer look at it. So I put a rock inside the tarp, tied it off around with some masonry twine and just staked it in. I had to do that on a few others over here because I didn't have any tabs uh, at that spot I wanted. I have a few stakes in on this side. You can see I put the rest of the tarp as a ground cover. Got the tarp down there and you can see I kind of made a door back there. To make this back flap stay closed I also used a rock tied it off between the two tarps so now I have a, a tarp at the back where my head is. Pretty good to go and as long as it's shedding and keeps me nice and dry in there I will be totally fine in this. Now that I got that tarp set up I'm going to do my second tarp kind of just like a standard bushcraft tarp and it's just gonna go kind of in behind and it might be about shoulder height and give me a little bit of overhang in front of this area here and then I can just put a fire kind of out in front here. I'll have a little bit of a dry area and it's kind of like doubling up the tarp. I'm sure that it will be warmer to shed the uh, snow even more.
I got my second tarp set up. It gives me some room around the edges, around my front area, and gives me an overhang so when I have my fire in front I can hang out, not get snowed on or rained on, whatever's gonna happen in the next uh, day here. Time to go grab some wood. We need some for fire and I might need some for building. So let's go find some dead standing most likely because things are covered in snow. Let's go target a dead standing. Let's see how old it is. You can take your ax or your knife, see if you can see green. So this wood's good. Nice and dense. I think my area needs a chair, so that's what I'm gonna be building first. I'm just gonna make a few stakes. I think that will be good. I'm gonna turn these into stakes. Pull this one a bit forward, it's a bit out of line. I'm gonna start wrapping them so they move as a unit, just with some jute twine. Doesn't have to be complicated. Yeah, that'll work. I'm completely under the cover of my tarp up to my feet. I'll have a fire right here and just hang out in front of the fire all night.
We don't need to make perfect feather sticks. We just need to increase the surface area of these sticks. Fuzz sticks are totally fine. Save some time because I do have fire starters so I don't need to really make perfect feather sticks. Got a couple dollar store fire starters and some jute twine in there. Hopefully this thing will light up. Another ground beef and cabbage stew. Fatty and vegetables and meat, protein. Already pre-cooked, so I just gotta 
do it for as long as I feel like. And if I didn't get the fire going, I could still eat it. <laughs> That's really good. I'm ready for bed. Uh, super tired now. It's nice and warm and cozy in here though. Should sleep well tonight. I will see you in the morning. Ah, oh, good morning. Oh, the water's nice. It's an absolutely gorgeous winter wonderland out here. It snowed last night. My tarp is super saggy, the white one on top. The snow made it pretty heavy. It made it a bit of a slushy mess on top. But that's okay. I slept decently. I wasn't super warm, but I wasn't cold either. I'm just gonna rehydrate a bit and then try to get a fire going for some breakfast. For some coffee. I definitely heard a few big trees fall last night or some big crashes, probably because of the weight of the slushy snow. I'm sure a few things fell. Uh, slush bombs. I'm probably getting hit too. As we're wet and slushy, I'm just going to use a lighter and some fire starters. This is tricky. Got my morning sausage, my coffee. And I just threw some trail mix and some water. Made that into a stew a bit, just to warm up. Get some warmth in me. It's warming up, but it's really slushy. All the snow's like falling like slush bombs off the trees right now. I'm lucky that I got the fire going how I did. 
Really beautiful out here though. I feel pretty warmed up from breakfast, even though it's an absolute slush fest out here. Huge snow slush bombs dropping everywhere. I'm happy that I set up that white tarp to protect me. Uh, it's bowing like crazy. I've had to dust it off like three times now. It's a wet mess out here. Super hard to keep the fire going. I gotta keep shoving the fire underneath the big logs to protect it from getting soaked by the slush bombs. Anyways, I'm going to be packing down and getting out of here. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and a like, and I'll see you on the next one.